Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 20 of The Ancient Magus Bride. So with this episode, wow! So there's the arm thing, demon thing, looking thing, that was in one of the promotional arts for Chisei. <laughs> so how that goes about, well, the dragon has to be, has its magic, you know, sucked from it, so it, you know, stops attacking the town, or it almost starts to attack at the town. But Elias and Chisei have a plan, well... Chisei has to suck up its magic, and, well, he was going to absorb it, so her body wouldn't break, but he fell off, and she absorbed it, and she got a dragon curse on her arm. So I'm like, okay then, so now she has become Velvet from Tales of Viseria with that arm. <laughs> Not really, but I just, the arm reminds me of Velvet from Tales of Viseria, but anyway, so when she wakes up and everything, you know, she's talking about how, you know, oh, I was able to do something for someone, even though, oh, my arm, eh, you know, but, and I'm just like, she say you always think about other people than yourself. Like, you always think about other people's well-being and safety. Like, when she woke up, she didn't even care about her arm. She's like, wow. And then she's like, wait, Elias, are you okay? Are you burned and stuff? And I'm like, you didn't even care about your arm. You're just like, oh, wow. And it was just, I thought it was funny. Then when she was like, wow. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was just like, wow, she say you don't even care. You're just like, oh, okay, you know. I, this happened because of my dumb decision. But hey, I did it anyway. Cause, and I saved the dragon, so it's okay. And I'm like... It's not because it's going to kill you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. Is This thing is going to slowly start killing her. Um, and by slowly, I mean faster than normal. Because apparently she was already going to die anyway. But now that she has this arm, it's going to uh, make it go quicker, basically. Her death uh, happening. Because, well, yeah, it's just a big problem. And I'm just like, huh, great. But, um... Thing is, is that this witch comes to them, and Mar Mar Marielle, I think her name was, I don't know, but she comes to them after Elias and she say a little talk, and basically she says like, you know, <laughs> after I just wanted to, you know, she wanted to live, but now she's not gonna live, and it's like, well, life sucks, doesn't it? But um, anyway, so the witch comes to her, and the witch tries to do a little witchy magic, and it even shocks her at one point. She's like, what is this creepy thing? Like. She it's weird because those vines that we've seen before come out of Chisei and everything, and they had, like, these red eyes on them, so obviously the arm is cursed somehow. Um, also, the dragon hasn't woken up yet, and that kind of worries me, because I'm like, no, oh, send the baby dragon back home, he needs to go home. <laughs> but anyway, so the witch is like, you know what, if you join our coven and everything, you know, we can help you out and stuff. And Chisei's like, wait, really? And then Elias, you know, outright refuses. He's like, no, but Chisei's like, no, this is probably a good thing, but the witch gives them a little card thing, and if they go, they open it, I guess, and later on, when she, say, gets visited by that little blonde-haired girl, forgot her name, uh, bad things happen, she, say, starts coughing up blood, and little girl knows about that now, now, I think the little girl here is some sort of, like, medium, like, like, the guy who's, like, really creepy, I forgot his name, he's, like, kind of our villain of the series, he, he uses her as, like, a medium to see what's happening to Chisei, because I'm like, well, he, like, did something to her previously, so he's using her as a medium of some sort to figure out what's going on with Chisei, like, like, a, a vision thing, you know, a, I don't know what to call it, like, I know what I'm talking about, but it's like, ah, but anyway, um, so I'm like, okay, so that's why she, and that's why he knows about it, um, so that's interesting, but, she say though, she's like, well, I'm gonna live, so you know what? And Elias is like, well, we'll go to the witch's thing. And I'm like, okay, let's do that um, next episode. And apparently the reality is cooler than anything, because to save a life, you gotta give a life. And I'm like, oh, wonder who's gonna give their life. Probably Elias is gonna volunteer, right? <laughs> I don't know, but we'll have to see. So this episode was really interesting overall. I really enjoyed it. Now we've seen Chisei with the demon arm thing, the cursed arm. So what do you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in Wonder Bride View next. Bye!